this. I'll say he's not in the original capital. <sighs> Must be built next to adjacent or er, a, a thingy, government plaza. It does gain governor promotions, which is kind of nice, but. Might be time for us to build a theater square. These are farming triangles. This is sort of a dead tile. It might get flooded later. You know what? I think we'll build it here. Because I suspect we'll probably end up building a harbor. And then there'll be some adjacencies. It is the first thing that'll flood, though. Yeah, Venetian Arsenal is still super strong. Um, I don't know if we've got a good natural place to build it. We may want to just force it by building industrial zone on the coast, you know? I do want to get our culture up a little bit. That's why I'm thinking theater square. Maybe not right on the coast. Maybe I build it here. I know it's only the one. But it's not so bad. Here's a question. How would we feel about an industrial zone here? Yeah, because I was going to say... Does building flood walls later in the game unflood the tiles? No, it doesn't. A lot of water, navy. Yeah, maybe we just build a few more ships. Because bad things could happen if we don't. Actually, Red Horse, which is our capital, I think should probably have walls. It's whiskey and chocolate! It's whiskey and chocolate! Who dis? Who dat? It's Furious George! Oh, we have a governor, governor title, too. Uh, Furious George, if the theater square floods, they can work on their synchronized swimming. <laughs> ah, that's very practical. I love it. <laughs> oh, man, that is good. Uh, <laughs> it actually might be worth getting provision. Because at some point, we want to flood into the... Um, into the tundra to the south of us. I mean, we don't need industrialists right now. I'm tempted. I mean, ping's good. Yeah, ray has got some good stuff, too. And she can do good stuff with the Harbor Master, too. But, yeah, I think I'm going to get that provision with Mag. It actually might be time for Red Horse to just start spamming out settlers for down here. Oh, we have a spy. All right, spy, no promotions or anything like that. Top priority for me tends to be Probably getting some tech boosts. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Uh, trade unit here, you're going to go to... We don't have a mission. I mean, money's always good, but I really like food. We're going to send you to Red Horse, which is really just a repeat. You're going to wait there. Uh, you're going to wait in this city, which is giving them amenities, which is nice. Farm. Uh, just wait. And farm. And you got nothing to do right now, still, so just wait. That may have been... I'm surprised that there's not more spam coming from this. Unless Alex went down here and shut that whole thing down. They have ways of shutting that whole thing down if it's not a legitimate barbarian encampment. Uh, yes, shipyard. Yes, please. Oh, we found Bologna! Bologna over here. Train cavalry. Well, we're going to put a bunch of points into you because you're science-based. Let's get that going on, please and thank you. Wait there. Get over there. Wait over here. Wait down there. Okay. He's got horsies over here. Yeah, I don't know what Alex is doing. He definitely feels like he's got, you know, he's got things to do. 
I always wonder if the AI gets a little confused because they want to declare a surprise war on me, and then they can't. So their units just, like, sit there, and they're like, well, I don't understand. We might build some some districts on here, which sort of wastes the builder charge, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, you want... You're going to give me open borders and a little bit of money for a little bit of coal. You know what? Sure, it's fine. Bad you're not too keen on me. Alright, World Congress. Units of the Chosen Promotion class. Uh, range units are going to be better. I'm going to put a vote towards... Um, I suppose we can get we can get diplomatic score if we vote for whatever's going to win. Does anyone know what the AI likes to vote for for this? I'm betting infantry, because that's probably what they have the most of. Or, so maybe I'll vote for melee. Because I want to vote for whatever I think the AI is going to vote for. Tamiris always votes on cavalry. That makes sense, but Tamiris isn't... Well, I don't know if she's in the game or not. I'm going to spend some points on this. To try to win it. Another <laughs> General Grievous. Alright. Okay, so we're going to get all our points back for this. Because A, we voted for B and A came through. And here, we did vote for melee, so there we go. We correctly got credit for that. If we take a look at the diplomacy situation, we now have four diplomatic points. This is, I, I, I kind of like this change. It's a little, it's a lot harder to kind of work, but it, it's all right. All right, we got the boost to metal casting. Um, so, canals, can't do any good canal tricks over here, can we? Railroads and things, I don't know. We'll get metal casting, it's going to be okay. We got the boost. Uh, Red Horse, so you've got some walls now, which is good. Some token walls. I should probably build a harbor. It's not going to be very potent for it, unfortunately. Um, but Red Horse having the ability to build boats. Oh, you know what? No, sorry. You're going to spam out settlers for me. That's what you're going to do. You are going to repair. Watch, <laughs> tuned in. Why aren't we at war yet? It's that special brand of Canadian passive aggressism, aggression. Uh, emergency targeting an unknown player failed. We do have some boats trying to find these unknown players. Or ships, I should say. Yeah, he's still there. So all these builders will be great when we do plop down our new cities. Because we'll be able to improve them quite quickly. No Dude, switch out of guilds. Oh. Um, yeah, I should have said yes to Philip there. Um... I think I'm going to research guilds, because I don't think we're anywhere close to building two markets. I think, yeah, given what we've got going on, we're just going to hard research guilds. Builded air? It, there's a there's a builder over here already. Oh, wow. Uh, you're going to step back and then promote. You're going to keep going down to factory is fine. We can build another trader now. Probably I'll just buy the trader. Yeah, buying it from here is probably okay. Oh, and we can get we can build another one after this too. Okay, just go ahead and build one then. And this game is missing lemon er, melons. Yeah, would be a decent resource. Do this because I don't think you can take them as is. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter who gets the encampment. Oh, there we go. We got a little bit more tundra to farm. The delicious, delicious tundra.
Can I add old style Terra map? Um, yeah, I don't know. You're right. I do miss the the Terra map where everyone starts in the old world, and the new world is unpopulated. That was was that Civ four? Did they have that in five? Because I really enjoyed playing on that one. Because there was always a scramble for the new world. That was a lot of fun. Hmm. I'm going to step back so I don't get double tapped here. Oh, I killed it anyway. Well, then maybe I didn't need to move, but sure. That's for... Hmm. Remember that in Civ 2? Civ 5 had it? Okay. Uh, right, so you're going to go to Red Horse. Get all that lovely food. There's our boost to Medieval Fairs. So we'll just go ahead and research that now. Wait there. Wait there. The sea Bold move, roll. Cotton. Hey, Mount Vesuvius! Nothing bad ever happened from settling now next to Mount Vesuvius. So we are going to switch out of Serfdom now. And run... Ah, uh, Karen Vansry would be a fair amount of money. Still like Natural Philosophy. This is why we need a different government type. I think we'll go Natural Philosophy. Although we are producing settlers. We actually might just want to run Colonization. You know what? Let's do that. Because I want to settle down here fairly quickly. I never build any forts, so... We're about to get guilds, too. Actually, so maybe what we'll do is we'll finish guilds, and that'll give us the boost to banking. Excellent. And then we'll work our way up to mercantilism as quickly as we can. Let us gain some sources here. Yeah, no error score. It's too far away. Guess I could have waited until I settled there, but psst, psst. You know, if I'm going to name the city of Dion, if we ever conquer it... Ah, Indonesia! So now I think we've met everyone. Yeah. If we ever take Dion, I was going to name it Silenzion. Um, And I'm like, we could have named all the cities after famous Canadians, but, you know... Oh, there's not that many. No, that's not true. There are a lot of famous Canadians. A lot of times people don't know they're Canadian. Canadians are bad at marketing themselves. All right. Settler number one. Let's get another one because we still have 50% raised. And in Settlers and Sea... And Red Horse, not Sea Horse, um, don't, uh, don't take any pops, which is nice too. But we will go and get a few going in a few different places as well because I want to fill this up fairly quickly now. Do-do-do... Um, I guess just Fortify until healed and Fortify until healed. You sit there. So, I think we'll go here. It's not too much overlap with Red Horse, but fairly close and easy to defend. Here or here both end up being good harbor locations. So I'll go there just put a little bit more gap between us. In before Nickelback City. Ha! Ah! Could have Michael J. Fox, Justin Bieber, of course. Uh, uh, are you feeling like you can't... You're in danger. What are you in danger from? Oh, because this is a neutral city! <laughs> Any chance we could just ninja this? You got bombard. Hang on a sec. I'm going to go here. I can be out of range bombard. Let's just wait and see what we can do. Bob and Doug McKenzie. <laughs> uh, you want iron for four gold per turn? Sure. I wonder. You can't go around arresting the thieves' guild. I mean, we'd be at it all day. Great merchant, commercial hub adjacency, industrial adjacency. I don't think we want any of that. Let's keep this going for now. That's a boost towards banking, steam power as well, apparently. Um, there we go. With diplomatic service, we already have the boost to, which is kind of nice. Now that starts to give us CBs. If the other people start getting that, um, you know, we could be in a lot of trouble here. Uh, you are housing capped, which I don't like. So let's go ahead and get a granary going. Uh, we don't really need ancient walls and scorp yet, I don't think. 
it's interesting that it can build the Casa de Construcción or whatever here, uh, even though it doesn't actually have the um, the government plaza. Must be adjacent to a government plaza owned by this city. I think that's worded wrong. Because it's not checking that it's owned by this city. Because the government plaza is owned by Red Horse, but Scorpio is still letting me build it. So that is incorrect text. Ryan, maximum effort Reynolds. Yeah. Shatner City. <laughs> um, yeah, just get, go ahead and build me a settler. Another governor title. 80% discount for strategic resource cost for units is kind of nice. Less critical it may be in our capital, because we're not necessarily building that much. Although later on, we'll be building ships. If we build a harbor, and I think we are going to build a harbor in our capital. You know what? Let's get that. With Oh, you have multiple titles. Um, no, too early for this, too early for this. Although, all of it's going to be pretty sexy. None, no, none of it is needed at this time. Um, we can already build a fishery. Uh, let's take the bonus towards construction district. It's always good. Maybe time for Rhea. I do like Rhea. The Harbor Master's super strong. Yeah, alright. Let, let's go ahead and get her. Um, right now it's just, what, cheaper tiles, right? Which doesn't really matter too terribly much. Uh, maybe we'll put it over here. Plus, trade routes passing through the city. Would that count if we put in a red horse? But no, I want to keep him here. I'm sending all the... Tra yeah, maybe there's a way to, like... Improviate things. We'll see. Um, oh, I guess let's go ahead and get you onto this crab and over here because it's going to come into the, the new city fairly quickly. Hello, Germany. Uh, you are going to actually, you're going to wait. I'm going to send you to the new city as soon as it's built. So just wait a turn. You can be friends with Spain. Hey! Sweet. Send you a delegation too. Here, have some maple syrup. Do you want an alliance? For eight gold. Three alliances at once. Truly, we are playing the diplomatic game. Okay, just, just hang out over there, little boat. Nobody expects a Spanish friendship. <laughs> it's, it, it's the best kind of ship. The friendship. Something, uh... Is that something from the Blorg Let's Play that Paradox did? did they build friendships? I think they may have. Cool making friends. What is this? What does that sound? What does that sword sound? Hey, you guys. What does it all mean? I don't want to buy this tile. Maybe I should put Ray over here. She's not even settled yet. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to reassign you to uh, Green Eyes. Right, okay, you have to wait one more turn there, Mr. Trade Route. Okay, I can move in now because they can't bombard. Major defeat. Citrus for some niter. You know what, dude? Sure. Mm -hmm. Never send cool man fight to Spain. He will cause a scene with Spain, then a war with them. <gasps> there we go. Now, this is still a pretty weak ship. I'm not sure we can take it here. You're going to need me truffles. Which I don't have for niter. Yeah, all right. If you're the bank 100. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought you were surrounded. I guess that got, got lifted. Yeah, wow. It's gonna. We're gonna be really lucky if we can somehow take that because it needs to be just the sliver of optimal space. All right. Well, we'll work towards steam power. That sounds fine since we do have the boost and everything. Settle here. 
uh, it is not going to be Vancouver. I am going to be picking a subscriber name from the chat in just a moment. So be ready for it. Um, I think you'll start by building the monument. That's going to be fine. So the city, formerly known as Vancouver, is going to be named... Furious George! Furious George! Boom! Excellent. Take that, Vancouver. Van City. The city that, like, all Europeans ask if that's where you're from when they find out you're Canadian. And again, I live roughly... Truly, if you go from east to west in Canada, I do live roughly in about the middle. Um, and um, the distance from Vancouver to where I live is the same as Madrid to Moscow. Turns out Canada's really big, you guys. I don't know, I don't know if you knew this, but yeah. I'm going to buy some tiles here. I could move someone. Actually, why don't I go ahead and move Liang to Furious George so that um, we can go and build fisheries. That sounds all right. Or it turns out Europe's really tiny. Well, there's that too, I suppose. All right, yeah, we're just going to wait. All those Canadians obviously know each other. Mm -hmm. What's funny is that even in Ontario, where I live, Ontario is the most populated province in Canada, but like 95% of it lives in like this microscopic little area right around Toronto, more or less. Um, and the rest of Ontario is basically empty. Whiskey I live in one of the empty parts. Um... Whiskey and chocolate. Who dis? It's Charles George. Here's your <coughs> contribution for naming it for naming rights. The 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 cough was in the text there. <laughs> uh, El Presidente Quill always accepts bribes. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Fifty percent of Canada lives within three thirty kilometers of four hundred one. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, I am from a French speaking part. There is a lot of French speaking people in northern Ontario. Um, and yeah, that's where I'm from. Not Quebec, which is where most people assume when they hear I'm a Franco-Canadian, but I am, in fact, a Franco-Ontarian. Coal plant? I mean, we don't... Oh, actually, we could use power. Hmm. Are we going to coal it up right away, you guys? So, you know, good, healthy coal. It's great for the environment. Oh, I can build the Roar Valley? Let's try it. Let's try to build the Roar Valley. I'm not expecting it to succeed, but we'll give it a go anyway. Uh, harbor is all done and settled. Um, a water mill wouldn't be terrible here. Plus one production food. Like, you know, it's always there. We don't have the rice and whatnot, but I don't think it's a bad thing to build. Make earth coal again. <laughs> clean coal for everyone. Uh, the more we pollute n now, the more we can clean up later and get credit for it. Actually, I'm going to build Caravelle here on the east coast is what I'm going to do. And we are going to lumber mill that. Um, and so Furious George. I am going to purchase that tile. That'll become your second. You, what the, f is China? Why are you coming down here? Oh my God, I, I should have started the settler spam early. Are you seriously going to settle here in the Canadian Tundra? First of all. How are you gonna? If we wrap around you, we you might have some issues with um, with loyalty. No, we, they won't because we have a cultural alliance. China's like, hello, friend. China wants the jade. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there they're retaking it. Although they still have loyalty problems. Whatever. Just go back to auto exploring. Wow, that is a lot of people being sent there. A little tiny... It's only four nighter. You know what? Sure, we'll do it. We can use the money. Money amounts are going down. This purple color is pretty trippy. I've never played as, the, as Persia. We'll have to at some point, just because that, that fuchsia? I don't know if that's the correct description of that color. Um, Sort of magenta, maybe? I don't know. Uh, More settlers. No, oh, green eyes... I think you're going to build medieval walls, because I don't still don't trust Alex. At some point, at some point, things are going to happen. Uh, 
Where are you going with that settler? I if I can just get in his way enough. So yeah, we'll be able to build some uh, some ice hockey rinks over here. Uh, you're just going to chill here. You're going to wait there. And there. And there. Describe that color as ugly. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> what does a crab and a fish have in common? I don't know, cool man. What does a crab and a fish have in common? What's the whiskey and chocolate just came in? It's Dr. Dave! Just what the doctor ordered. The light on the Copex right now. Recently lost my job. Oh, your content is literally one of the few bright points in my day. Thanks, cool. Well, Dave... Dude, I hope you find another one. Man, that is always so stressful when shit like that happens. 